Today we have an update. Do you guys remember Emily? Oh. I'm on inspection right now, and I've got Emily. She's my client. I'm gonna introduce you to her. She's a first-time buyer. She's over here. So uh, she brought her dad, and uh, you're her brother. Boyfriend. Oh, boyfriend. Bo oh sorry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's her boyfriend. <laughs> they have a structural clay pot holding up the fudge floor. Yeah, Should definitely floor. not be two by fours. You're not holding up a Tesla with that. I think she's gonna. She's actually gonna terminate this one. But uh, so I said we can either prorate back a, a chunkier inspection, or we can just save a free inspection in the future for the next house you buy. Because she is gonna keep looking. She was the big house with big problems, little client hoping for little problems. Anyway, uh, here's her boyfriend that I accidentally called her brother last time. So I'm an idiot. Emily is here, and we're at a new inspection. So I'm hoping this is gonna be a good one. But we did encounter a Frankenstein you know, a Widowmaker deck, and she said, you could do a video on that. I'm like, all right, good, let's do it. We came around to this deck, and I'm like, okay, well, just for starters, uh, these balustrades, the guards do not meet modern standards. Little kids will fall through those, and they will fall 13 stories to their imminent demise. Probably not. But then the first thing I noticed was the stairs. Okay, those are not stair stringers. Those are two-by-fours with two by eights cut and attached to the top of them. That's, that's fancy, and that one's broken. The stairs are sloped forward, settled, ground to wood contact. The rise and run doesn't meet modern standards, no graspable handrail, no uh, balusters on the guards. Uh, we're just now getting started. Yep, this gets way worse. All right, you will notice that the deck has a crown to it in the center right there, which is sort of inexplicable, and we see some strange bolts right here, which I'll show you in a second. But the crown this direction turns into a sag this direction. So I got to looking over here and I'm like, wow, that joist is way overspanned because there is no support under here at all. But good news, the rim joist is being used as a structural support, which is already bad. But let's go ahead and put a post under that, a support post that is out of plumb and leaning with ground to wood contact. Now, <laughs> this is... This isn't bad enough. What you've got here is just a guard support. The actual roof support comes down here. So what they did was added three rim joists as a support for the roof. All right, that's a big bunch of note, like a truckload of note because that is a snow load concern. But yep, this gets worse. So if you notice, there is no proper load transfer to the ground. And if you get six feet of snow on that roof, those three rim joists are gonna pop off and this roof's gonna collapse. I came over here and they have modified a joist hanger, just cut that right off of there instead of actually attaching that to the ledger properly. They've used improper connections for the guard. So I haven't even touched this yet, but I guarantee you this is gonna wobble and wiggle. See, I told you, you guys never believe me, but do you see that? In the interest of protecting the drunk and the sleepy, we are going to call that out as a safety hazard. So, in this Franken deck, we have another support here that has no load transfer to the ground whatsoever. We come over here, and they almost got that one. Like, I'm looking at that going, okay, we'll give them an A for effort. But, uh, yeah, nope, that does not transfer to the ground. That is just resting on this very strange rim joist that they decided to lag bolt in for some reason. And then if you stand back, you will see the deck slopes this way and slopes that way. Yep, you guessed it, I'm under the deck and this gets worse. There are no fasteners in that ledger. I see rusted joist hangers. Let me see if I can zoom into that. Those are all rusted out at the bottom. All right, so if there's any deck contractors out there that want to all right, if there's any deck contractors out there that want to help Emily and her husband out. All right, so if there's any deck contractors out there that want to help Emily and her boyfriend out, I accidentally just called him a husband. I can't get this right for the life of me. But uh, if any of you guys want to help him out, um, that's a big bunch of nope. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, how do people not unalive themselves? We've got this lean-to roof back here that is just kind of screwed to the side that ledger is not fastened they've just got little pieces going across here they've used the wrong screws and these joist hangers are not even fastened all the way across here and we get a lot of snow here maximum water intrusion 
they've got this nice pipe coming through the roof just dumping right down into here right down there that's good you don't want that water running onto the roof and getting away from the structure emily's boyfriend just uh, told me what that was that's actually an outdoor shower it's it's a feature not a bug going into this sub panel in the garage which we can't fully open but you will see in here we have a 12 gauge wire going to a 30 amp breaker that is a big bunch of nope over here we have a wire a white wire being used for hot that should be re-identified found another defect here you'll see right here there is a 240 volt outlet going up here to this wire that's actually what comes into this panel what they're doing here is they're back feeding the panel with a 50 amp double pole breaker but there is no interlock device so what i was just explaining to emily and her boyfriend was if your power goes out and you plug a generator into that make sure you turn off the main to the pole or the guy climbing the pole fixing your electrical wiring he's gonna get zapped so anyway that goes in the report as a safety hazard that's definitely a big bunch of nope all right so this this part of the video goes out to my buddy brent fletcher this is one of those don't do that things so here we've got a dishwasher over here we've got the dishwasher cord so that's already a big bunch of nope but then the one thing you're never ever ever supposed to do with extension cords uh, you're not supposed to use them inside the house as a permanent implementation but you're never supposed to splice them and that right there is uh don't do that the sneaky one these are old windows but right up here this glass this glass pushes right out of there that is a big bunch of nope right there and that glass pane can actually fall and cut somebody you guys know me there's one thing i love it is good workmanship when you're applying caulking, you want to do a nice job. You really want to get that on there nicely, nice and even, nice and smooth. Now, this is a really cool feature. There's nothing worse than hard floors. You really want your floors to be soft and squishy, you know. But here's the update. Good news. We found a good house for Emily. I did this inspection free of charge because that last one was a train wreck. But today we found them a new home and I couldn't be happier for them. So what do you got to say about that, Dad? I, I like it way better. Not as, anywhere near as much to fix in the last one. Less money. Yeah. 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 And um, I'm so glad you guys are standing next to each other today. Can I, I can actually tell that you're, you know, boyfriend <laughs> and girlfriend. <laughs> so, um, but uh, what do you, uh, you know, congratulations on this. What are you guys going to do first when you move in? Hmm. Paint that yeah, she wants no, to paint that I'm so disappointed in you. I just you got to do the grade and the, the drain. It's nice, but, yeah. we're gonna do the grade and the roof drainage system, right? Yes, absolutely. All right, all right. I'm suspicious. I'm gonna reinspect and make sure they're doing it because we found some minor problems. All right, so there's your update. We found a great home for Emily. You guys can all feel good. Uh, you guys were awesome in the comments, by the way. So thank you guys very much for being a part of this story. But here we go, brand new home for them. And uh, it's a good one.